we all know that television in September is a big month for a lot of people who love TV. What I'm talking about is season premiere week. And, well, I'm going to talk about season premiere week in another video because I'm still in the, in the middle of watching all the new shows. So I'm going to do a video on that very soon this weekend. And But I really want to talk about the shows that need to be saved and need to really pick up this season. Um, I've been watching a lot of shows uh, last season, and I'm be honest with you, there was a lot of great shows that really picked up in storytelling, and there were a lot of bad shows that really need to pick up. I'm going to talk about the bad first, so we can get that out of the way. Dexter, as much as I love Dexter, Dexter Season 5 was horrible. It was a terrible storyline. After a great season with the Trinity Killer, we come into Dexter looking for a partner with Julia Stiles. It was just like, you know, uh, it, it lost. You know what it is? Dexter, my advice to you is I really hope you pick up this season because if it continues the way you're going with this, you're already about to be canceled out. Because, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I like the old Dexter when Dexter wasn't so busy worrying about a family and a son and you know he was just going into his own mental state like I love the origin of Dexter in season one I love season two when Dokes was catching up to him season three was terrible and then we come to the classic of season four where he was matched with a brilliant master uh, serial killer which is um the Trinity Killer so you know, I really, you know, now they're trying to do a religious theme, so I don't know. I really do hope that this show picks up. I'm going to watch Dexter uh, episode one uh, this weekend because, you know, as we all know, the bootleggers are very good at uh, promoting great uh, episodes. So I'm going to check it out and I'll let you all know what I think of it. But for the most part, Dexter is one show that needs to pick up, you know, and I, I love Michael C. Hall. But damn, you know, that, that Dexter, the Dexter Season 5 was just terrible. You know, it was one of the worst that they've ever done. Um, Criminal Minds is another show that needed to pick up. And I understand, what, there were some good episodes in Criminal Minds. But you know something? You were all smart in bringing that team back together. Because I saw the uh, season premiere of that show. It wasn't great, but you know something? It seemed like everybody settled their problems and they brought back all the original cast, got rid of that blonde chick from uh, from G.I. Joe, which she was a, a terrible pick and she didn't fit with that squad. But for the most part, you know, you got the original cast back. Everybody's back in their places. Let's keep this show the way it is because the season premiere was really, it was terrible, but you know something? You know, usually with Criminal Minds, they, it always starts off like, like that. You know, I mean, Hotch is in Pakistan, and, you know, Morgan is trying to find out what happened to Prentice, but he's lied to, and Reed is still Reed, and, you know, I'm glad that uh, CBS was smart to keep all of you, and that's good, but damn, you know, let's pick up on some of this storytelling, because right now, you know, Criminal Minds is another show that needs to pick up. They need to go back to the serial killer themes and, you know, find another serial killer that they can go up against, you know, like the Boston Reaper, which was my personal favorite, you know, put another killer like that into the show. But for the most part, you know, let's keep, let's pick up a little bit because there's been a lot of shows that really were sloppy and, you know, those are like the two that were really sloppy. Please don't bring back Suspect Behavior, the Criminal Minds one, because that was terrible. Forrest Whitaker, you know, you're a brilliant actor. Love you in uh, The Last King of Scotland, but you are a ter terrible choice for Suspect Behavior. You know, uh, Janine Gar Garofalo, you know, she was terrible too. It just was like, you know, another Criminal Minds, but basically... They, they couldn't match up because no one cared about the characters. So please, leave that story out in the mix. Um, Grey's Anatomy is another show that needs to pick up. I heard that Patrick Dempsey is leaving. And you know something? 
I wouldn't be surprised because the way that story is going, I could see him leaving because he's been on that show. Now, this is going to be the eighth season. You don't need to be on that show forever. Just, you know what? You you made your bones. You put it, you put the work in. And you know something? You know, keep it moving because Patrick Dempsey wants to go back into movies. And you know something? You're going to make more money when the show goes syndicated. So then they've already been syndicated in some networks. So... Believe me, Grey's Anatomy, you know, hopefully this will be the last season because, you know, I'm sick of Meredith and her whining. I mean, how long is it going to take for her to be a doctor? I mean, we going on now season eight. Are they going to be doctors yet or are we still working on the training program? You know, and I'm kind of glad that they can Meredith because who the hell messes with the trials when they were trying to uh, work with the Alzheimer's? You know, it's just like, you know, she did. She tried to do a good thing, but you know something? The show is just basically, you know, we come to the end. I think we need to end Grey's Anatomy, you know, and put that show to sleep. And then there's then then there's good shows out there that picked up, but I'm a little concerned about. Like for example, like Fringe. I'm gonna see the episode tonight because season three, brilliant, brilliant story. I love the whole parallel universe. Uh, world that they were working with and it's such a brilliant storytelling Joshua Jackson uh, Anna Torf and uh, John Noble all deserved Emmy nominations all of them because they were brilliant in their roles now we come to The Good Wife and The Good Wife is another brilliant show but I hope they I hope that they're not going to make Alicia such a weak character in this one because, you know what, for the last two seasons, you know, it seems like, you know, Alicia gets on her feet, and then when she finds out that she's cheated on, she becomes a weak woman. You know what it is? Do yourself a favor, leave Peter behind, try to go with Will, but I feel like Will is going to play you because Will is more about trying to make that business work. But, you know something, I hope that you start your own firm. Please don't end the season in season three where she's crying again because some man fucked her over or, you know, she can't seem to get it right. But you know something, for the most part, keep season keep season three interesting. I think she should go into politics because that would be interesting to see. But for the most part, please, 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 I don't want to see her crying again, you know, because it broke my heart when I saw it in season two. I was like, damn, you know. She keeps getting fucked over every every which way she can. Then the final one that I'm concerned about is The Walking Dead. And I know that The Walking Dead, it only had six episodes, but there was a lot of drama behind that where, you know, uh, just basically they didn't they didn't want certain directors not to direct the films, and then there was script, there weren't script approvals, and some people uh, felt like, you know what, um, the stories could be written bad. There was just a lot of this drama that went behind with The Walking Dead. And I absolutely love The Walking Dead. I saw the trailer for it. It looks really, really good. But you guys got to keep it bloody for Walking Dead. You got to make sure that you make it interesting. Because they got an interesting theme going on. Which is basically, can they hold it together while this apocalypse is happening? Because it's rather interesting there is some of them have uh, given up hope. Some of them have thought about leaving the group. Some of them have thought about, you know, killing themselves. And, you know, they don't, be, they don't, over, they don't do, uh, do an over-analytical on it or become over-analyzing. They just basically, it's just choices. And, you know, for the most part, the main character who's the sheriff, because I forgot what his name was because I haven't seen it in a while, but... He's the one that has faith, but he starts the feeling, well, you know, how long can this go on? Because we all know in The Walking Dead, you know, zombies are walking the earth. And how long does it take, you know, for you to realize that is this basically the end of your life if you keep uh, fighting? Or do you decide, you know what, that it's time to blow your brains out because you don't want to become like them? You know, there's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes, but... They're going to do a full season, but I just hope that they keep it bloody and gory because right now, and they do got an interesting story concepts, but for the most part, these were just some of the shows that I was very concerned about, 
And, you know, for the most part, I do hope that these shows pay attention and they pick up and stop worrying about the ratings. Just tell us an interesting story. You know, get, keep me interested in loop. Because right now, from what I see, is that some of these shows are in danger. And if, if they don't recognize it, then they're going to be in cancellation. Some of the shows are hot and they want to cancel them. But, you know, right now... You know, these are shows that I'm definitely concerned about and excited about. So, tell me which shows you're excited about and which shows need to pick up. And I know I didn't get to every TV show. I just mentioned some of the ones that were my favorite. Tell me what you think about these particular shows. If you watch them, you know, do you think that they're going the right path or they need some upgrading? And for the most part, hit me with your comments. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. And enjoy the weekend.